absolute dollar sign before the G and the two, closing up the brackets, divided by the standard deviation. This is outside of my my what I'm currently working in, so I'm going to F for it because I don't want it to move down dollar sign before the G and the three. Enter. There's my Z score. Let's add some decimals. Home tab, number group, couple decimals, and double click to drop it down. So this is the Z score that's representing below the mean, right? And when it gets to zero, that means that means it's going to be around that 74%, right? So because that means we're at that middle point for the Z score, and then this is representing in terms of in essence standard deviations above the uh, standard above that uh, mean point, right? All right, so there's our Z. And then if I'm trying to graph this, then I can say, okay, what if I try to put another graph on top here that represents my data uh, up to this point, less than or equal to up to that 80. So I could say, all right, let me see if I can get a graph that's gonna, that's gonna be equal to, in essence, this argument. And so now it's dynamic in that I can change that 80 again, and I can go to the home tab, font group, percent and uh, white, and let's center it as well. Okay, so now I can say, all right, uh, let's see if we can use like an if function to, to pick up our data here. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I want you to put something here uh, if, this number is uh, less than or equal to 80. And if not, I don't want you to put anything here. So it'll just be blank. And then I can graph that on top of this graph and it will give me, it'll give me that, that another line, which will, which will be nice visual. So I'm gonna say equals if, this is our if logical test. I'm just gonna say, all right, I want you to say if this number is less than or equal to uh, less than or equal to this number, then that's a comma. So now we're going to the next argument. What do you want to do if it's true? If it's true, then I want you to pick up the uh, P of X number. But if it's not, which is a comma, I want you to just put a blank. I want you to leave it blank, which is just double quotes because it's it's nothing in it. So that's our text field with nothing in the middle. So that's our argument. So I'm gonna say, okay. And uh, it comes out to zero here because it's less than this, it's a percent. Let's percentify the cell, home tab, number, percentify, add a couple decimals. And then I'm gonna double click the fill handle and copy and it copies it down. Now, hold on, I can see something went horribly, horribly wrong here. Let's double click on it. What went wrong? Notice that this cell, is it got copied down see so so i'm going to absolute reference that one i'm going to go into that one i'm going to say okay that's g10 right there f4 dollar sign before the g and the 10 that sticks this one solid so when i then double click on the fill handle again then it copies it down so now if i go down it'll copy it down to here and then everything over 80 there's nothing in it so now what I can do is I can say, okay, now I'm gonna to go to my graph and I'm gonna pick up this column and that will give me that, uh, a, a different color that will give me that, that distinction. So let's go to the charts up top and then I'm gonna to go to the data and I'm gonna say, let's select the data and say, I'm gonna add another data set and I'm gonna call the name of it, this right here. So I'm just gonna say, that's the name and then remember, be careful with this bottom part, delete it, make sure you're picking up the right data, control shift down, and it picks up all this data even though there's blank cells down here. Okay, I'll break it all the way to the bottom because of course they won't be blank if you, it's a dynamic thing if you change it. Okay, and then we're gonna say, okay, and then boom. So now you've got, now you've got your graph that gives you around the 80 and you can see this, the, the blue line, which, which is nice to see pictorially. So we're going from uh, orange, we want less than 80. So the orange is what we're looking at, everything less than uh, or equal to 80. And then of course you might want a legend now. The legend, I don't need a legend because I am, I am the legend. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. So in any case, so we have that. Now, 
that's the now now this gets a little bit tricky because you also might be asking questions like well what if it's what if it's greater than or equal to well that's kind of the inverse so this graph kind of shows the inverse as well so you can kind of use the same graph or you can put up different graphs to give you this middle point and we can also get more fancy with this graph adding the z to it give it giving us uh, uh, the standard deviations down below which is pretty neat as well so we'll dive into that in more depth continuing to work on this in future presentations